Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be taking a deeper look at the properties panel and its use within the Blender software package. So the properties panel as you know is on the right hand side and it is how we are going to define the properties for our object, scene and other little bits. Now while we're working on this, what we're going to be doing is just dragging this properties panel out, making it wider so that it's very easy to see. And the way you're going to do this is just by putting your cursor over the line here and then just dragging it out. The properties panel has a whole variety of settings that you can change, not only relating to the scene, the object, the materials and so on, but a whole lot more. So you are going to need plenty of space and that is why I've made it nice and wide. So the properties panel, as you know, does its bit, it's self-explanatory. However, there is lots of different types of properties within it, and that's what I'm going to be breaking down in today's video, introducing you to the main different types of properties. So, starting off, by default, you are going to be in the Scene tab. Within the Scene tab, you have got the ability to adjust some of your render settings. So from here, you can render an image, an animation, or audio. And with that, you have the ability to adjust the settings, so you can change the resolution of that render, the overall scale, and you can also determine a frame range, so how many frames within an animation should be rendered out. We've also got the frames per second and a whole variety of other render settings that you can adjust, and those we're going to be going into deeper detail as we move on into the series and when we cover more detail into render and animations. So moving on from here, you've got another tab and this is going to be for your render layers. This render layers tab is going to allow you to tell the Blender engine to only render out specific objects, breaking it down into layers if that is something that you wish to do. And all of your settings for that are going to be into here. And once again, this is going to be something that we'll be covering in more detail once we move on to rendering. You've also got a whole bunch of other tabs. Now with all of these tabs, I'm not going to be showing you exactly what each and every single one is. What I am going to be doing is showing you the most important ones, which are going to be the, uh, the scene tab, the render layers tab, and the next one is going to be your object tab. Now, as you're going through these different tabs, as you hover over it, you can see you've got the names for it. So the first one is render, second one is render layers, third one is scene, fourth one is world, and the fifth one is object. The object is probably gonna be one that you'll be using quite often. With the object tab, this is going to tell you all of the different settings that we can determine relating to the selected object. In this case, it is the cube as we've got it selected and you can see it's being named the top here. And within this properties panel now, what we have got is all of the settings related to this, such as the transformation information. So from here, I can adjust things like the location, the rotation and the scale of the object. We've also got a bunch of other stuff, but like I said, this is going to be something that we'll be covering in more detail as we dive into this, uh, into the series. Moving on from here, you have got your object constraints. If you want to add some of those, you've got your object modifiers, which are basically just little modifying effects, which you can add to a object that you've got selected. Uh, you've also got your data tab which is going to allow you to see a variety of data relating to the object that you've got selected, which once again is outlined at the top, it's saying it's the cube. There's all kinds of different pieces of data that you've got available here, um, but as of right now, it's not something that I wanna cover on this video. I just wanna make sure that you know what to expect when you are looking in here. Next up, you have got the material tab. So if you wanted to add a material to your object, this is where you're going to be doing it. And from here, you can also adjust a variety of other settings, such as defining a diffuse color. 
and you can add a specular, you can add shading settings and all of that good stuff and everything relating to the material, which is essentially like a texture onto your object, that is all going to be within your material tab. You've also got a texture tab, a particle tab and a physics tab as well, but those ones once again are going to require a little bit more detail and that's going to be something we'll be moving on to as we get into the series a little bit deeper. So hopefully by now you guys have a better understanding of how you can navigate through the properties tab and some of the different things that you can expect to see there and you will be getting ready to make your 3D models within Blender. Anyway guys that's pretty much everything for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.